Hi guys, so I'm here today. I'm going to try the Sam June Kiss Pour Challenge. Um, I'm using Arteza paints. I have the titanium white, their silver, the cerulean blue, and phthalo blue. These are all the Arteza premium uh, paints, acrylic paints. I'm also gonna be using Indian yellow, neon pink, and their rose uh, matter. Now, I know that these two colors will probably make a peach. Uh, I'm not crazy about peach in general um, in a painting, but I, I'm hoping to add a little bit of white in between to reduce that uh, mixing of these two colors. <clears throat> I filled my cup up to about right here, uh, the, the first little line with the, the golden uh, color pouring medium. And then I added about a half a tube of the paints. Um, they mix really well. I haven't used, um, I'm sorry, I haven't mixed any uh, water in these. They're, they're fairly thick on account the pouring medium is uh, somewhat thick. So I was debating whether or not to add my Hask Argon oil, uh, the hair oil, to see if I could get some cells, but I don't think I have um, the colors enough to really, if, if I'm doing two separate ring, ring style pores or kiss pores, two colors are different um, on each side. And I don't think I'll get the cell action that I would normally get if I did, let's say a dirty pour or just a straight pour, uh, with ring pour with all the colors combined. So um, I'm gonna start off uh, my cup and then I'm gonna pour in this color sequence and then this color sequence and you know add white in between if need be. So the first color, because I'm thinking I want the brightest in the middle. So with this, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in here on both sides. They're pretty thick. Um, I'm gonna do the Indian yellow. I'm gonna add a little more white over here so it's not just all yellow, although I have a feeling that's what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I'm gonna do the neon pink and pray no peach. I'm gonna use the rose matter next. All right, so I'll put that aside. Next, I'm going to do uh, the blue sequence. Now I did put white in here. I'm going to put some silver. Cerulean blue. I'm gonna layer a little bit of white between them. That's my cat, part of my cat. He's angry, he wants treats. And then I'm gonna put the phthalo blue. So let's give this a whirl.
give it a little torch. So last night I tried um, a rainbow ring pour with their outdoor acrylics and so very, very vibrant. Um, and I was hoping to revisit that again today with a little less, um, a couple less, the, minus a couple of the colors. Um, but I uh, did not want to fight with the outdoor acrylics bottle to get the rest of the paint out. So I'm letting them sit upside down so the paint will hopefully go to the bottom, uh, go to the tops and I'll be able to get them out later. So, all right.
paint is really thick. always pour with gloves um, put them out and I couldn't not pour I just have to <laughs> We're gonna be able to stretch this much more. Nobody has until tomorrow to watch a ring pour. So what I'm gonna do is do a smaller maybe ring pour right here. Layering them the same order. All right. All right, let's see if we can uh, All right, we'll move this one around a bit.
came out really cool with the white that was in between the colors. It lightened it a bit. And I really like the contrast of the darker ring over here. I want to try to stretch it out a little more um, so that the rings are a little more definitive right now. They're, they're nice, don't get me wrong, I like them, but there's just so much going on on this area. It's gonna be tough, but maybe it'll work. And in the process, color, cover that uh, corner up a little bit if I can. It's almost there. Yeah, I think I like that. Done. Let me just wash my hands and I'll bring you in in just a sec. There we go. So that is it. Have a great day, guys.